This video will walk you through the database rollout available only in the Corporate Edition, as well as the document sync available in both the Professional and Corporate Editions of QuoteWorks. To initiate the sync, you must be logged into a remote PC or a remote site installation. Only the remotes can initiate the sync to the master installation. To take advantage of the database rollout feature of the QuoteWorks Corporate Edition, both the master and remote installations must be rehosted to a SQL or SQL Express database backend. To begin, click on the Utilities menu and Sync. When the Sync Wizard appears, you'll have several options. You can perform a basic sync using the settings from a previously saved sync profile, or you can perform an advanced sync by starting a new sync session or by using a previously saved sync profile and making changes to the settings of the sync profile. You can even create a new sync profile from the changes you make to the existing profile. The basic sync is the fastest way to initiate the synchronization process. Simply choose the sync profile to use and click on the finish button. This will use all the synchronization settings defined in the sync profile to run the sync. For this tutorial, however, we'll be starting a new sync session, so we'll select the radio button labeled Start a New Session and click Next. In this window, we'll select the location of the QuoteWorks directory that the master installation is located in. You may need to ask your QuoteWorks administrator where this directory is located. In the Synchronize Documents window, we can specify the documents we wish to sync. The first radio button is labeled Nothing. This is selected when you don't wish to synchronize any documents. This radio button will allow you to sync documents. This radio button allows you to synchronize document templates. Please note that document templates are not the same as print layouts. This radio button will allow you to sync documents created by a specific sales rep. The Direction drop-down menu allows us to specify whether we want to send documents bi-directionally to and from the master installation, or only send documents to the master installation, or vice versa. We can choose date ranges of All, Modified Since Our Last Sync, or Modified On or After a Specific Date that we choose. For now, we'll select the Documents Radio button, the direction of both, and the date range of all, and click Next. On the Synchronized Product Data Sources window, we can now choose the product databases we wish to sync. Now while we're only displaying one product source here, QuoteWorks can have many more product sources which can be synchronized. Note that the direction is grayed out, and this cannot be changed. We also have the option to synchronize any new data sources that were not present at the last sync. Next to the product source, we can choose to not synchronize, synchronize the data source, or completely overwrite the data source. For this tutorial, we'll choose to completely overwrite the data source and click Next. The Rollout Data window is where we can choose other QuoteWorks data to roll out to the remote. Only two options are available. Do not synchronize or replace overwrite. We can select individual sources or we can use the icons to select all or deselect all. We'll go ahead and select all and press next. This next window that appears is the confirm selections window. To proceed further, you must check the checkbox to acknowledge that you'll be overwriting the selected databases. Check the checkbox and press Next. This window gives you the option to save your sync settings or to save the changes to the existing profile, or to create a new sync profile and even to set it up as a one-step sync. A nice feature about saving the sync profile is that once the profile is saved, it can be given to other remote users of the company. For now, we'll select No. If you're a QuoteWorks user with administrator rights, or master rights as we refer to it, you can set permissions limiting the modifications of these sync settings and profiles for your QuoteWorks users. Click the Finish button to start the sync. When the sync is finished, you'll be given the opportunity to view the sync log. Click Close to exit the wizard. 
This will also force QuoteWorks to shut down. The synchronized data will become available when you launch QuoteWorks the next time.